Over the last three weeks, residents of Riverton Meadows off Spanish Town Road in St. Andrew have been grappling with the effects of repeated power outages in their community. One resident who requested anonymity told our news centre that the lengthy turnaround time for reconnection is overbearing. When you call them, they tell you that it takes one to six hours for someone to come out and look at it. However, the lights don't come on, come on back until 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the night. When anyone from the community go up there to find out why is this happening, they claim that it's the people who are not paying the bill or who are having illegal lights. That's why they're doing the disconnection. However, when you call them and speak with an agent, the agent tell you that it's someone showing up illegal activity and it's licking out the light because they come in and put in the, the new thing that they have going on. She says as a result of the recurring outages, children who are engaged in online classes are at a disadvantage. She's concerned that this could lead to them engaging in illicit activities. The main concern now is the children at home that has to do the, the homeschooling. If there's no light, there's no Wi-Fi. For a community like this, we cannot have the children sitting down not doing anything. They are going to be engaged in activity that is not for them and not for society. And for, for a few times now, there has been a lot of killing tele, um, taking place in the community. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And the, the guys who are doing it, they don't wait until night, morning, midday. Children have to be running. Meanwhile, the resident says persons do not have an issue to regularize their status with the JPS. Persons down here have gone out to JPS and finding out what is the issue and hear their response to them. Tell the people them when I'm paying a light for coming in. Why don't they come in the community and have a meeting? Just like what Water Commission did. Water Commission come in and had a meeting, tell us what we need to do and so we can move forward. That's all JPS needs to do. Come in, tell us what we need to do, give us a, a time period, and then they can go ahead and do whatever they want to do after the time period and we don't commit to the, the, the information that was given. Our news centre contacted Director of Corporate Communications at the JPS, Winsome Callum, who revealed that the company, along with the Community Development Committee and Member of Parliament, Anthony Hilton, met with the residents in October. She said residents were advised that the power outages were not done by the JPS but as a result of illegal connections. She says residents were told to go to a JPS office and update their status. Sasha Lee Hamilton, Frontline News.